In a span of just a few hours last week, Waukesha County Sheriff's deputies helped find two men wanted after two separate crashes. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne explains how two specialty units work together to help make the arrests. The thermal camera makes it really, really easy for us to spot people. In the dark of night, he, he crossed from one yard into another. Waukesha County Sheriff's deputies were able to find 23-year-old Papa Diallo from high above. Investigators say they pulled Diallo over for speeding just before midnight Thursday. Deputies say there was a crash and a chase before Diallo tried to hide in someone's backyard. The information that we had from the passenger is that he was armed. Deputies then called in a specialty team Ready? to find the gun. All of our dogs are their location tools. That's their primary thing. We want them to locate whatever we tell them to. Deputy Sheriff Anthony Schutte says hours later, K-9 Chance and the drone unit were called to another chase, this one ending in Pewaukee. They were flying over the area looking for him as well. Deputies say they were looking for 20-year-old Kenneth Grady Jr. They say that's Grady running through backyards. The Sheriff's Department's drone tracked him with assistance from K-9 Chance on the ground. Investigators say Grady dragged a West Dallas police officer 15 feet during a traffic stop last year. Records show Grady was in court the day before the Pewaukee incident, preparing for his upcoming trial for West Dallas charges. He was out on bond in that case. Law enforcement working together from every angle and using technology and man's best friend to help crack both cases. Being able to take both of them in custody is a good feeling. In Waukesha, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Fox 6 has learned both men arrested last week are currently out of custody. Diallo posted a $3,000 cash bond. Prosecutors charged him with two felonies and three misdemeanors. Charges are still pending, though, against Grady. He is not currently in custody in Waukesha or in Milwaukee County. We reached out to the Waukesha County DA's office with questions, but never heard back.